Vamos com a galera aí. This is the vulgar display of podcast. Vulgar display of podcast. Right fucking now. On location, the Miramar, is that, is that how you say it, Miramar? Miramar. Miramar, downtown Milwaukee, almost downtown. Um, we're with H1Z1, who tore it up tonight. Love your guys' energy, first of all. The show is awesome, top to bottom. But we had some great bands all around. So we're here with Mark. I'm sorry, I didn't grab your name. Leaf. Leaf. And uh, Patrick. So we've got we've got three of them. It's all right. There's two, two we don't have. Two we don't have. I don't know. Well, right. enough. That's all right. The first thing I wanted to ask is the energy you guys have. Yes. Which is awesome. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. Thank you for doing that. So what's the mindset on stage? Uh, have fun, show everybody you're having fun. Be the example of a good time, you know? Yeah. Just fucking around with my friends. Yeah, yeah bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? That's all I'm doing. Dead ass, like, no, no. Get, get all the energy out. Too. Like, it's like a conversation. Yeah. There's Justin. No, hey, Justin. Hello. Hey, Justin. <laughs> That's yeah. definitely what I felt too. I mean, I was headbanging next to him, and no one else was, you know, like even started yet. And like, yeah, and out in the yeah, crowd, right? Yeah, we like getting out, with, out there with people, right? Yeah, so yeah. You know, started. sometimes you got to bring the energy yeah. to, to the people. Like we got the energy here. Like I mm -hmm. love my guys. I love my guys. All my guys. Like super love. And then uh, you know, sometimes people are just like a little like uh, you know, I don't know. But then you got to bring the vibe out. And then with 25 minutes, you can only do so much. You know, sure. so like, you got to hit them at that first like couple. Yeah, seconds, just, like, yeah. Ooh. When people yeah. are familiar, then they know. Dude, like, Chimichanga? Yeah, know, yeah, right? yeah. Like, yeah. the more you get into it, the more people in the audience are going to get yeah. into it. It's like making Somebody. everybody comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was, re it was really, really fun tonight. It really was. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. We Thank you. I was listening to some of your stuff this morning, actually. Yeah. Um, what's the album called? The one that's on Spotify? Unfounded. 20 yeah. That's OG. Yes. Unfounded. That's See, the okay. thing is, though, we have a new album coming. That's fine. Fall. This, is my this fall. Fall. Nice. Okay. If all plans go... In place, it'll be this fall. Yes. And I'm super excited. We have what, 12 or 13? A lot of bangers. Songs, yeah. 12 or 13. Oh, shit, we got a fifth guy. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, do, we, do we have the entire band? We have the whole band. Yep. Yep. All right, drums. Drums in the mix. We got our drums guy are in the mix. Noises. He said he's not even that tired. So we're, we've got a new album. Have we started recording or we're just writing? Once we get everything finalized, vocals are done. Especially the lyrics, which haven't been Anyways. quite finished yet for all the parts. A lot more than you think. Uh, once all that's done, things. once all the lyrics are done, we'll finally get all the music and everything finalized. Sure. So what's changed since what I listened to this morning? Uh, Everything. Yeah, a lot. I mean, there's a... <laughs> a lot. Okay. In the six years, there's been the core three of us, which has been Mark Patton. Yes. Me being Justin. It's like... It's been the three of us for the last okay. few years. The three of us have put together a lot of the main parts of the music. And Leaf. And Leaf, especially the last, or Kayla, we should say, the last okay. few years. We've uh, put together a lot of the stuff, and then once we get everything finalized, it will be... It'll be good. I, uh, I'm looking forward to what we have already it's prepared. Be, it's much more. It's much more diverse than the first album. As someone who experiences the first album from like a listener's standpoint, you know, like I feel like our new stuff is a lot more diverse. So I'm really excited to release it. The first album was Mark. Justin, Justin Pat, and Pat. That's Pat. Oh, that was it. Mark, well, yep. The first album was Mark, yeah. Justin, Pat, and Juan. Or original drummer yeah okay. yeah decided to uh, step away from family reasons and personal reasons dad sure. life decided to dad life yeah. Yeah. dad life we love him yeah we <laughs> absolutely <laughs> nothing but love oh, for, shout out to sure. for so, one and everything else yeah is unbounded your second then first first it's the first. Oh, our first that's the first full length yeah first full length we have a uh, ep out that came out oh, that we won't talk about years that. before i Eight came yeah. <laughs> yeah. no no not that one there's another one the we don't even need another it doesn't even matter we re-recorded put them out with some hot shit. 
and there's gonna be a lot of bangers. So was a lot of what we heard tonight. Coming yes. Fall? Pretty much yes. all but one song. Everything but the last song. What yes. we played. Yes. Cool. Yes. All, we all, all that shit's new. And, and also, awesome. bear in mind, that's only four yeah. of the, you know, six yeah. other songs we have. Yeah. 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 Ready for we got the 13. Next we have 13 in total present. And if the, if we don't come up with anything more between now and then. Right. Of course. Yes. That's super exciting. Yes. Oh yeah. We are. We've been the band that's always been active behind the scenes, but we haven't necessarily been as active. It's just been as far as the, the world's been fucked. Yeah. Well, yeah, dude, with the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've, like, we've also saying. had so many holes to fill too. We had to find a new drummer, which we've, you know, at least. I, I, I made a little luckily hell. done. <laughs> <laughs> we did summon him from the hell. At least we found very, someone. Very grateful. We found someone well, to summon, summon from the hell to play like drums. Yes. We've had uh, Kayla <laughs> in the band for the last. Two years, yeah, roughly. Nice Something like Even that. Even though we've only played like five know. shows. Or right been, before but, the pandemic, we calculated <laughs> it. It's like, I think like ten. Good job, ten. Yeah, guys. Which, it's been ten it's shows. Good. It's been a good show. It's been yeah. years. Very you know. low amount. I'm glad. Um, she's been on bass for the last few years, and she's yeah. added an extra layer yeah. to the <laughs> guitar, <laughs> to the guitar level that we've done. Because me and Pat have always been on a fairly similar level when it comes to the guitar <laughs> stuff, but what Leaf slash Kayla has added to the band over the last two years has been something that, you know... Is that missing? Oh, it's that, it's that full vibe that we've been kind of... We've assumed we found the person twice over, but for various reasons it just hasn't quite worked out in the ways that we wanted to, but so far with what she's added to the group has been absolutely amazing. And amazing. Absolutely. Thank you. She's, like, yeah. Hearing that added. from you guys yeah. means a lot. I respect yeah. you guys so much as musicians. So, so. What's the writing that's process great. look like then? Uh, we just you mentioned your... Okay. Oh, writing <laughs> process? That's funny. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're just like, all right, there's some shit, and then I'm like, all right, I'll write lyrics in like 20 minutes, and then like there's what it has, I mean, what it, it's been for the last couple of years has been, I kind of, or me and Pat were writing a riff or an idea, and then between the two of us and... Also, the rest of us is not just the two of us, but between all of us, we come up with all the musical stuff, and we're just like, okay, that sounds cool. And then Mark will come on top and just bring his hot shit that we. You know, what <laughs> we start with like program drums, and then we got like you know drummers' opinion and yeah. stuff. So like Juan has a big influence still on some of the stuff we're putting out, mm -hmm. but like he was there in the sessions when we were writing, and there's right. a lot of back and forth. We got a new shit. Very yeah. collective. Yeah. It's a very yeah. collective. It's a very, very individual. Individuals oh, and like everybody implements their personality, which makes this beautiful fucking thing. So yeah, it seems like you guys get along really well. So what do you do when you don't like something? Uh, How's that going? Like bring it up. Yeah, we fucking tell each other we yeah. don't yeah. like yeah. it. Right it's right very straightforward. Okay. I know. Like There's this no, is what we need to change. We're not what we need to get rid of. It's a very straightforward, very straightforward organization with the five of us. It's always been like. If something doesn't work or something isn't quite right, one of us will say, like, hey, change this, change that. They never we'll... tell me to change shit. <laughs> we like what you ever do. Everything is gold. I mean, to be fair, Mark, we don't really know what you do. Exactly. That too, yeah. You do the death metal shit, bro. It's just like nobody can understand what the lyrics you're saying. So it's just like, okay, whatever. All you do is scream. That's Are y'all yeah. yeah. outside of, like, jamming? And then, oh. like, you know, I bet we could make a song out of that. I mean, we, we hang out. Yeah, we can. outside of outside of other things. I mean, it's we, never it's, it's it's never a situation where we are ever uncomfortable. No, yeah, it's always a very loving, very open cuddles, all of it. I mean, there was a show we did, and I think it was was it Wausau? Okay. Wasn't the Wausau show we did where all of us were in the bed together? Yeah, this is like a dog like, where like we all just kind of and the dog. hung out. Oh yeah, the dog's important. The dog is important. very important. <laughs> Uh, it was all four of us in the bed together where we were just all just hanging out on the couch and it was just it was magical. You know, it wasn't any weirdness or any oddness. Oh, <laughs> oh you're talking about the Wasa show or, yeah, Cuddle Puddle? Yes. Cuddle yeah. Puddle. Cuddle Puddle. Yeah. Cuddle Puddle. Yeah. Literal Cuddle Puddle. Oh, yeah. Do you get a lot of inspiration out of the times you're hanging out, no, no, around no, no, like that? I mean, or is it more just like when you jam, you jam and then you I would argue most of the time when we're hanging out, we're jamming. And when okay. we're jamming, we're coming up with new ideas, new riffs, new okay, ideas, nice. and whatnot. But who'd you listen to on the way here? What'd you listen to on the way here? Personally, I listened to a combination of Corn and Slipknot, <laughs> which <laughs> are probably we were just talking about the new metal era, which too. is personally because you know I am the 
died. Me, personally, Justin. I'm the eldest of the band by about seven years, and everybody calls me Grandpa and whatever else. <laughs> he did it himself. Yeah. No, I didn't care to. I didn't do it to myself. It's just no, what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, overall, I've been in the band for six yeah, years, and over that time this, frame, like, I've and I wouldn't say yeah, necessarily I've influenced the band with my influences, so but I've definitely the, put my influences no, sure to the yeah, forefront the because it's like the bands that I grew up listening to and I grew up loving. Of course, bands like Slipknot, Mudvayne, and Horn, and that new era, new metal era, is what you know. I. Yeah, died hard living too. That fit with our mold too, because like I was that fits with like yeah. fucking Soulfly's an influence and shit. Those you know, like porn, Static X, Soulfly, all that shit. So uh, when you're not, fast, you like, not, one of those shows, they're not in performance. Yeah, shit. it's yeah. fucking awesome. I see your patch. Yeah, what's well, the best Slipknot album? Is it Iowa? Uh, um, I don't know uh, what. Yeah, it's Iowa. It's Iowa. Yeah, yeah. that's great. What what, what motivates my energy? <laughs> Uh, first, like, fly performance I seen a Slipknot was a uh, sick and, like, Conan O'Brien oh, show. Yeah. Dude, wow. he got wow. so, like, Corey was just like, Ugh. How'd they even all fit on stage? Dude, yeah, so, barely. I just seeing Ozzy, Black Sabbath, and all those groups back in those days. Zach Wilde playing the guitar with the teeth and shit. But really, like, to be honest, like, we were just fans of music. Like, I listen to all types of shit. Like, I listen mm -hmm. mostly hip-hop. I fuck with all the hood shit. I mean, I'm from the hood, so... Wait, 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 let's see. You, you, try, you always try to exclude me from this shit. As if I didn't grow up. <laughs> he's from the hood, but he like from them like Rudy Huxtable type of niggas. No, no, no. <laughs> I grew up with the same shit. Yeah. Like, I'm, same I'm like shit. hood hood. Like, just like. Oh, but, oh just because you talk with the weird way. No. I love this thing. <laughs> they struggle, just like they talk different and like they uh, have like higher expectations of the world. <laughs> What'd you listen to on the way here? Or on, on the, the way, way here, somewhere today. Well, let's see. <laughs> on my liked songs list on Spotify, I have a shit ton of Slipknot. So like, Man, that's Slipknot all around today. Right. Yeah. I mean, I like saying, Slipknot. Which album, first one? Um, What's the first? Is it self-titled or is it eight yeah. sevens? Where yeah, I want to say self-titled. Honestly, self I really love the Grey Chapter. Yeah. That okay. was. Ooh, Grey Chapter. Is I thought it was really well put together as a whole. You know. It's just it's a also down, good. Like, don't together. ask me. It's just a yeah. down. It is cool how that influence comes in. Like, yeah. In, not in the lyrics themselves, but in the style of the lyrics. You know, like you have those kind of hip hop offbeat catches that not a lot of metal bands can. It's that can plus do. also the double driver yeah. plus the. You don't talk about as much genocide. Else. Double driver. Yeah. So <laughs> not, yeah. not quite as much genocide. Well, he does. He our, our, our yeah. ethnic background doesn't come from the yeah. as much they as do. They so, do. Yeah. I mean, it, it informs your history when it comes to this. It's, it's educational. What about you, Patrick? What did you listen to on the way here? Listen to Mastodon. Mastodon. Big Mastodon fan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, the good shit. I think it's their sixth or seventh record. Yeah. All right. So uh, what's next? Oh, so what's yeah, next? Yeah. We're new recording. Music. New music. Oh, recording. Recording. Getting in the studio. Getting everything, everything finished. Amazing. Yeah. Once we're done with that, then Sorry. it's just playing a bunch of shit ton of shows. Right? When's the next Ooh. when's the next show? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Bandad. 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 Band next, next show. show. Uh, it's in Cunahan, X-Ray, Milwaukee, and I can't tell you who we're opening up for, but <laughs> there's a band that's really Wait, big what? we're opening up for. It's a psycho stick, is it? I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. That was a question. Or we're going to air answer. all of this. That's perfect. That's a, no I edits. Know. That's the next Milwaukee water. show. I think we're when playing it? May 14th at the Crucible, <laughs> otherwise in Madison. What's oh, up? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about it's that. It's either May 14th or May 20th. I forgot the dates. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my calendar. Come on, bad dad. <laughs> Let's pat every Post day. that shit in the description. Right. <laughs> we'll link it. There we go. We'll link it in. Link it in the description. All right, cool. So H1Z1, awesome, super energetic, awesome, entertaining show. Love Very tiring. Tiring. No, we're fine. You guys are we're holding up pretty well. Thank you guys for entertaining. <laughs> um, you can check their old shit purple. on Spotify. Yeah, it was yeah, their new Spotify? shit soon to be on Spotify. In the, in the fall, we're targeting fall. This fall? Yeah. Not so. the exact date yet because we haven't actually gotten into the studio to record everything. We have an album. Yeah. This fall. Just keep yeah. your eyes peeled. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Follow them on social oh. things. All of it. They're playing H1 shows coming up. Go out and see them. It's super fun. We got that Patreon if you want to like help us with that album too. That would help us too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that very much a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, plug anything Cover you want. You want to like, plug anything? Patreon, absolutely. Uh, mostly our Patreon. Follow us on everything. You can find us on everything as H1Z1 Metal. If you want to hear that Easiest new shit way. before anybody else, yeah, Patreon, Patreon is the way to go. Because we'll be oh, dropping our demos yeah. on that. Yeah. I will. Oh, yeah. It's like, everywhere. We appreciate you following us anywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. We could use the help. So Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Patreon is the best place. <laughs> we broke. If you really want to help us, that's the well, best place. Well, not entirely, but pretty much. All right. We're right on. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right. And thanks, guys.
Hey, this is Mark from H1Z1 with Vulgar Display of Podcast out here in these streets.